everyone. So today we are here to discuss children's most favorite topic about animals. Children are always fascinated about animals. So in this theme, we are going to discuss and explore different animal real world and their connection. So the first phase is the connection part. We can use different methods for the connection part that is presentation, music picture cards, stories and rhymes. So we'll connect the student first by asking different probing questions for tinkering their minds. Such as, in this slide you can see, we are having different animals and we have asked what are the animals move on land, name some. So children will give some examples of land animals. Here in this slide we have asked what are the animals we see at the sky. So children will give different examples of sky animals. Then we have asked name different animals lives in the ocean. So children will give different examples of water animals. Now here in this slide we will ask which animal is big or which is small in size. Now we will tell children about different animals they live with that help us in our livelihood. So we will give example of different animals such as cow that gives us milk, horse that take our material from one place to another like that. After connection, now it's time to divide the children in groups according to the strength of the class and children will build different models out of it. This phase is called the construction part in which all the children are going to build a model with the bricks according to the theme. So as we have taken an animal theme, so let us start with some few models for the animals. So here I am going to tell you about how to construct different animals with the bricks. So first I am going to build a giraffe with the bricks. With the bricks. After the construction of the model, now it's time to ask some questions related to the models from the children. This phase is called contemplation part. For example, what all animals you have built? What all colors you have chosen for building your model? Which is your favorite model out of all the other animals? Which animal is fastest and which animal is slowest? Identify animals and their young ones. Now I will tell you how this theme can be taught in multidisciplinary approach. Look at the table where I have mentioned different disciplines and below that different concepts that a child will learn during their hands-on session. In maths, children are going to learn about big and small, patterns, ascending and descending order concept of odd one out, features and types of animals, homes of different animals and their babies. Bird lives on a tree. In language portion we will be covering sounds of different animals and storytelling. Then in gaming portion different moments of animals can be taught, a treasure hunt game and a matching card activity. After the contemplation part now it's time for the continue part in which we are going to give children an extension activity from the bricks. For example, in this particular scenario, I have merged all the animals that I have made in the previous activity and combined it to a model called zoo. So you can see here, I have a crocodile, a giraffe, an elephant, a bird on a tree, a lion and a tortoise. So I have merged all the animals into one scenario and we call it as a zoo. So by this scenario we can teach children about project based learning in which different skills can be enhanced such as fine and gross motor skills, visual discrimination, teamwork and collaboration, special awareness and many more. After their hands on session now it's time for reinforcement with the coding board. So for this as I've said we are using Kobo board and encoding educational mat. So let's begin. So we will give different tasks to the children on the educational mat. For example, 
visit the animal having tallest neck. So we are having giraffe over here. So first we will do the coding on this way. We will put the start card here and then count the number of boxes. Forward, forward, forward and then reach to the goal. Now I'll place the bot on the star button here and press this button on the center. Let's go! Forward! 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 What has reached to the giraffe picture? So now the next task is to visit all the water animals. So here in this map we are having shark, octopus, whale and a crocodile. All water animals in one line. So children need to visit the water animals one by one. And the task is to put a card color also in between the coding. So let's place the start card here. Let's put the bot on the start button and press the center. Let's go! Forward! So there are so many ways to learn with the bricks and give children a practical exposure related to real world connections.